Howdy! If you have a burning question to ask to the boys or want to name a character in our D&D podcast, be sure to check out our Patreon. It's the best way to support us while still getting a little something in return. You can get more info about it at patreon.com slash Music. And now, on with the show. No, I don't really, rem- again, I don't really remember. Well, it's been ages and I haven't thought about the podcast in a while. I know Avery said he wanted to do intros again. Fuck you. I definitely think we should uh, yeah, have a David, good time. I'm down to do, hey, David, you know what happens when we do the intros? Is that I do the entire intro and then it's silent because no one else says anything after the intro. Well, that's, that's why not, we that's not, it in the first place. Well, that's not my fault. You are one of the other people who can talk after the intro, David. <laughs> Fine, let's do an intro. I'll talk after. All right, play us in. I already did. Oh, oh my God. God. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. You you blew it. I'm you blew it. Did- We're not doing a fucking intro. Welcome to the fuck podcast. You. No, fuck you. <laughs> I'm ending my recording. That's all I'm going to be on this episode for. <laughs> my name is David, but you might know me better as Sir Meow. And today... We're we have a bunch of folks right here to tell you funny gags and japes and stories. Starting from the top, we got Avery. Hi. Fuck you. Is it my is it my turn? What the fuck? Just keep going. Yeah, yeah fuck. you go down the list. Go down the Corbin. list. Brendan. Yo. Crap this. This is not getting used. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, I liked it. I had this pictured where I would have where there was like funny funny talk show music going on while we went down the list like the Brady Bunch or something. I have never yeah, watched the Brady show. Bunch. My favorite I'm gonna be funny honest. talk show, the Brady Bunch. I mean, <laughs> I mean talk, I it's a show. That. Yeah. It's close yeah. enough. I don't even know what the fuck the Brady Bunch is. It's a sitcom. Well, oh. here's a story. It's a situational <laughs> <comedy>. <laughs> Thanks, Mandy. <laughs> Fucking God. <sighs> See, this is why. Fuck, I hate my life. No, hey, Cor- so Corbin's, are, are Corbin's we, are, doing the story, I think. Yeah. Right? What's is, happening? Are we not what? even going to fucking. What? We, we didn't story. even finish with the introduction. Okay. okay. Oh, right. Julian's here. Right. Yep. Hi, Julian. Hey, everybody. Hi, Julian. Welcome to another episode here. of Please Stop Talking. I am your host, Avery, and I'm joined down the list by my good friends Corbin, Brandon, N- Nintendo. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Noodle, Julian. David. Hooray. Are you happy, David? <laughs> and we're yeah. the Brady Bunch. No, no way. Every copyright? single one of those fucking oh, intros God. makes it to the episode. Every single one of them is in there. <laughs> Avery, <laughs> way, you're the one who was worried about this podcast being unlistenable, and you're going to say we keep all that? Yes. I'll figure I it am, out. Because I'm making a point here, Julian. Oh, but David we keeps crying about not doing an intro, and we then it takes it fucking we 15 it. No, listen, minutes, listen. and it still barely works. We can figure it out. You know why? Because we went, hey, Corbin, to, story, we went right? to Brendan's... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we start with Corbin's? Or? I don't have a story. Corbin what doesn't is, have what a story. What the fuck did you say that? Brendan said that Corbin had a story. I was seeing the into this. A bunch of boys travel down to Iowa to see me for my wedding reception and also they helped me move. We did do that. We did yes. do that. Prior to going to Iowa though, we had the really, really fucking smart idea of, hey, Iowa, Sioux City, that's only seven and a half hours away from fucking Chicago. What if instead of just landing in Iowa and doing stuff with the boys for four days, we land one day before, we went, land on the first day in Chicago, stay at an Airbnb, drive for nine hours in a van, pass out at a hotel, wake up at the hotel, go out to a fucking wedding reception, come back, sleep, Leave. wake up the next morning early, get in the van, drive for nine hours back to Chicago, pass out in the Airbnb again, wake up early, then go to the airport and fly away. That what was if we did had. that instead? Was, we could have never had, had a, a, most, a more stressful... Trip. And yeah, instead, I've never had a more stressful four days fucking of trip. travel and one day of wedding reception <laughs> and then a bar. I think. Yeah, but the the, the good re- the reception. real reason the real reason though why we couldn't do that is because the internet like the international boys me and Shane could if we went to the fucking Iowa and whatever Sioux City airport, airport is really airport, small. Yeah, it was really far and really small, and we would have had to pay like. 
a lot of money to even go there. So that's why we decided to land in Chicago and then go from there. That everyone's problem. Well, (laughs) I can't can't answer that one. There's literally no fucking reason for it, but we did it. It was a oh, it's because of Charlie or something, probably. Yeah, it's because of Charlie. We all wanted to see Charlie, and then Charlie didn't even come the second day that we were there. He didn't come hang. He he came the first day. He did come the first day. Which (sighs) fuck? All right, you know what? Are we are we ready for this? (laughs) Are we ready to talk about the fucking clue house? We can. I, th- I we, believe we're ready. I mean, there's like the there's like the very small prerequisite when you sent me into a fight or flight response, and then there was us like you know getting there, but that's all. Oh sort yeah, of I mean when uh, when we landed at the airport, Julian had no idea what I looked like, but I knew what Julian looked like, <laughs> and he told me where he was. And so uh, he, w- I, I look around the baggage claim, and I'm like, I don't fucking see anyone here. And then I look over like a little bit more, and I see someone like lying down on the ground with their head propped up on the uh on like a pillar with a suitcase next to them and they're wearing clearly a weird gamer shirt and I'm like I yeah I think I can deduce who this fucker is <laughs> so I still am like only partially sure that it's Julian at this point but I do walk over and I can tell that he's very engrossed in whatever he's doing on his phone so I I have a rolling suitcase. I roll the suitcase into him and then step around the pillar on the other side. And I just, and I get to watch from behind as he starts wildly flailing around and panickedly looks to his left to see where the suitcase came from. And there's nobody there. (laughs) And then from behind him, I I say, what's up? What's up, Julian? (laughs) I did not even know that happened. You don't remember the part where I just started screaming fuck really loudly in an airport? (laughs) You're gonna not mention that part. That's not surprising. That's if if you're ever in an airport and you're wondering if one of the PST people are there, just listen for a fuck. Listen for someone playing the piano and then fucking walking away from it like a Fleischer cartoon. That'll be Julian. <laughs> That'll be Ju- Julian. Genuinely looks like a fucking cartoon character when he walks. It's so fucking uncanny and weird. It's not even when he walks. It's when he does just anything. When he, Corbin can when be lying exists. down. Not Corbin. Julian will be lying down, and you look over, and it looks like it, he's like G. He's like a fucking ragdoll in G mod. Like you just throw him at this something, is and not he does like, that. The, I felt you, like, so yeah, I guilty because like, we had to share a bed and then you told me about how apparently oh yeah, no. I flail around like a wacky inflatable man whenever yeah. I'm asleep. It was fine. I wasn't sleeping well any of the nights on that trip. That didn't yeah. stand out. I definitely didn't help. Yeah. You know what? That's fine. Whatever. Let's, why don't we talk about the Clue House? So we can't talk when, about we, clue when we, res- we were really last minute in reserving an Airbnb and a hotel and everything. So we didn't, we had literally one, we only had one uh, choice when it came to an Airbnb in Chicago. And that choice is the Clue House. We didn't have any idea. (laughs) We we had no indication of what we were getting into. I mean, I the thought it was going to be cool, normal. right? Pictures it looked all look extremely normal. normal. Relatively, and also yeah. the guy, there was, the guy there was, was a, just There was a clear lack nice. of mirrors in the pictures. Distinct lack of a lot of shit in all of the pictures. If you go back and look at them, yeah, Avery, so you want you want to you want to give us a I will, rundown I'm going chronologically. To just give you a virtual auditory tour from the front door, just walking around the house before we get into anything, any of the details. Yeah, and I already talked to David and Julian. The, the, you're going to want to jump in and add things to every single room because that's what the house is like. I have a notepad and pen at the ready yeah. with like so bullet points for things that you until, may not Wait mention. until I'm done with the layout and then we can go into that shit. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. one of those like uh, uh, find like what what are those called like, like those PC room. games where you find like you have to like find different things in like a room that's just cluttered as fuck. That's yeah. how I felt like being there. It was a nightmare. You were in a fucking graphic adventure game. Yeah. 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 A hundred percent. I don't know. That they're Maybe. fucking like I spy books, but you. Like, yeah, it was an I spy. Yes, yeah, it was like an I spy book, but yeah. a house. So, um, if you come in, you walk up the steps, you get to the front door, you open the front door, and you walk through, and you're in like a little foyer, like hall hallway area. There's a closed door on your left. We'll get to that later. But if you turn right and walk down the hallway, if you look to your right, there is a. Very large, pretty much completely empty room with 
mirrors in two of the in two of the three corners because the door is in another corner just facing into the room and then if you look more closely you can see that the only light source in the entire room is a single naked light bulb sticking out of the wall in the one corner that doesn't have a mirror in it for the purpose of mapping this out we're going to oh and also a big brick uh like fireplace with a tv placed on top of it that is like touching the ceiling uh, that is perfect for like neck strain, and there's also nowhere that you should that you can reasonably sit to watch the TV. For the rest of this, we're probably just going to refer to that as the man grows food and cooks outside room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you turn to your left at the end of that hallway, you get to. We don't really have a name for this one, so I think that we'll just be calling this one the living room, the party room. Uh- Party room? I, I, party room? You know, works. I think party room so, works. The weirdest thing about the party room is the fact that um, one of the walls is completely made of custom order uh, mirror and or window to the next room, which I will get to. Yeah. In the middle of that room, there's a pillar hanging down from the ceiling that anyone who is taller than David is going to hit their head on if they try and walk around the room. <laughs> In that pillar, that is the main lighting fixture. There are four bulbs in that pillar. When you turn the lights on, one of them is just a really light, a really, really bright regular light bulb. Blinding. The other three are spinning rainbow disco lights. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And if you are if you turn to your if you look to your right when coming in, there's this giant cabinet full of liquor and a huge TV just like on like on top of it. And then if you look around more. Opposite the TV, that is the wall that is entirely made of windows. And then if you look up, there's like the triangle part of the room because it's like it's got like a I forget what it's called, like the roof ceiling triangle shit, whatever that's called. Uh, that's that's all custom mirror. Um, and another mirror leaned against the corner of the room behind which there is a neon <laughs> sign for a bar <laughs> <laughs> through the through the glass through the glass doors and like windows, there is another room. This room is completely white. The yellow. only like it's yellow. Yeah, it was. Oh no, no, the furniture was, was like white. yellow. Yeah, yeah furniture white furniture, white. but bright yellow paint. Right. It's it was kind of like faded it, yellow, but yeah, fucking psychopathic. Yeah. So in this room, there is simply a desk, an ashtray with some blunts in it, a. Basically, a jar of rotting wine, one oh, chair God, facing so into the house, uh, with with just windows behind it where you can see like anyone can see in and anyone can and you can see everything outside. <laughs> it's like an observatory. And then on the other side of the desk, two other chairs, and in the corner of the room there is a just sign that's like a live laugh love sign, but instead it just says God has been so good to me. <laughs> and also two more mirrors oh. for the remainder of this we're going to be referring to this this room as the pre-fuck contract room yes <laughs> oh yeah coming back in through the living room from the pre-fuck contract room you can cross past the wall through like a door into another hallway the first bedroom is in this hallway. This is where Boo and David uh, were sleeping. Yeah. And Boo is the first one to arrive. He picked that room. He turned the TV on. It's just porn. It's just <laughs> porn on the TV. And it I is, need to, it, I it need to emphasize hardcore. the TV. Hardcore porn. And hardcore the TV anal. is pretty much the size of the wall. It is it, a it, fucking it, it huge is, TV. It was the and size of the wall. inches it was from massive. the bed. <laughs> God. Again, in this... In this room, there are three more mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, no, no, no. Also, also oh, no, the door I, I, was a mirror. The door was a mirror. The, that's different. Uh, the door was a room. mirror. No, was the door a, was a mirror. The door was oh, a mirror. No, no, no. There, there were multiple, multiple mirrors. There were okay, multiple okay. door mirrors. Okay, multiple door mirrors. <laughs> Every I door has a... If you think there's an added mirror, there probably is. Probably yeah, was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... One room, you keep continuing down that hallway. You flip the, flip the light switches on, expecting the light fixtures on the walls to just turn on. There are also disco lights that spin. They are not normal light bulbs. They, they illuminate nothing. 
They illuminate nothing, but it does make the hallway a lot more colorful. Yeah. <laughs> so you continue down that hallway. You look into the next bedroom. I don't remember what was fucked up about that bedroom. Was that bedroom normal? It was I don't definitely know. I, the I didn't go in the oh, whole Also, house. The, the, the first bedroom for the rest of the video, that's that's the X videos room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely had three mirrors. Yeah, one of them being it was the door. A- yeah, because it was okay. in the fucking. It also had it also had a poster in it with with like some Jack Daniels and then just an inspirational quote that just says, "Why not?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. That's so good. All right, I don't remember what was weird about the second bedroom in the hallway. That w- bedroom might have been normal. Um, there was probably yeah, sure. porn on the TV though, because something I failed to mention up until this point is that there the was first time on we turned TV. on any of the TVs, it was playing porn. Every it was all on one. X video. It was all on X videos, and it was just really hardcore anal. Yeah. So continue walking to the end of the hallway. Uh, to your right, there is the only downstairs bathroom, which is painted bright blue. There's a massive stack of towels. It's like an old style freestanding bed. And if you look at the wall, like n- not bed, freestanding tub. And if you look at the wall, so there's a very clear handprint on the wall <laughs> of forgot. something. Oh, yeah. And it's very clear that someone was taking it doggy style in the bathtub recently. And if you open the medicine cabinet at the sink, there's KY jelly in there. (laughs) That's the most interesting thing about that bathroom. Then at the end of the hallway, this is the bedroom that me and Shane, uh, Fox Cade, were sleeping in. The entire room is painted bright orange. There is nothing in the room except for a bed an air mattress, an old bench, and a tree made of Christmas lights. Oh, there were two of those, right? I Yeah, there, there are two yeah, in the right. house, but one of them was in there. That's right. In this room, on the, on the wall, directly above the bed, there were two Christmas wreaths. But instead of being made of wreath, they were made of white fur. And in the corner of the room, not plugged in, not attached to anything, has nothing to do with anything else in the room. There is a old Dell PC that is entirely made it of was, obstacle drives. Yeah. Just a fucking massive thing with like nine optical oh, drives. Like genuinely like nine. It was a tall tower. Yeah. That that is the optical drive room or the white oh, wreath room. Either one is fine. one detail. The, the window is insulated with exclusively the wrappers of straws. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Just straw wrappers. <laughs> like like drive just through straw wrappers. They insulate because the window didn't shut all the way, so they just <laughs> just took, like stuck a sh- like a fuck ton like of just thirty straw happy meals worth it. of just straw wrappers. So, leaving that room. If you eg- if you want to exit the hallway, you can go all the way down and exit through the like door that you came in, or you can take a few steps forward away from the end of the hallway and turn right, and there is a raised platform that signifies the start of the staircase. Oh, yeah, right. that splits the house into two lanes, with yeah. the middle lane being the staircase, which is per- parallel to the hallway that you were just walking down. Yeah, the carpet it's, it's- is also completely coming off of this staircase, and it's pretty much a death trap. It's Upstairs. Like, it's not even attached at certain points. Yeah. It's just hanging there. If you go like, upstairs and there's no air conditioner. It's about a thousand fucking degrees up there. It's a retrofitted the ceilings, attic. The ceilings are very, very low. That is where the upstairs bathroom is. That is where the shower is. That is like, that's the normal bathroom. <laughs> that's Yeah, sure. That is the normal bathroom. You turn around coming up the stairs and you God. walk forward. To your left, there's going to be <coughs> about forty thousand dollars worth of audio equipment. It is insanity. An incredibly like, professional audio setup. David, it do is, you remember the RGB microphone? I remember he had a fucking RGB microphone on there. Who the and, fuck has a microphone so that has weird. lights inside the mesh? Dude, what the must, fuck was that? Like it, it was literally like just the the computer, the chair, and all around the chair, there had to be like fucking 20 different like synths, keyboards, whatever, recording gear. Several it was pairs insanity. Of vintage AKG studio headphones. Yes. Also, yeah. like a lot of vintage shit. Like it would yeah. just out in the open in this random open, open fucking room. Yeah. In a terrible <laughs> part of town, people. too. Like, what the fuck? Yes. And to your right, 
there's a drum set. Uh, yeah. If you continue forward, there's a door at the end of the hall. And this is the last room in the house, except you for the missed kitchen one of the and bedrooms. the basement. There was a bedroom upstairs too, but none of us went in there. If you open this door, there are no lights in this room whatsoever. There is one tiny window, which natural light is flowing through. There are a couple of couches in the corner and two sheds full of weird, like, costume-esque clothing. If you look at the wall opposite the door, there is a rectangular hole cut into it and just pure darkness behind that. If you walk over to the hole and you look into it, there is a tripod with a camcorder pointing through the hole into the room. Mm. If you shine a flashlight into the darkness. God. It's just piles and piles of clothes and a giant rack full of fedoras. Like and for really. some reason, a Mac Mini. <laughs> <laughs> and also just the shoes, man. And shoes so and just shoes. clothes so, and everywhere. Oh, and, and in the darkest and corner. completely covered in, the, in dust. In the darkest corner, there were also like three rack mounted pieces of audio hardware that had yes. been used in like 20 years. This was so, probably a porn set. They're just running out like to make yes. some more extra money. Yes. Yes. Oh, then yes. Absolutely. There's way too many mirrors. You turn no, around. you haven't heard the best part yet. You, you turn around and you look at what the camcorder is facing and it's the Weezer blue album wall. <laughs> 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 For the remainder of the discussions of the house, this is the Weezer room. Yeah. So you descend <laughs> down the stairs and you're like, I need a glass of water because I was just up in the Weezer room and I'm dehydrated and sweating my ass off from the heat. You turn around coming down the stairs. You, you go right. You turn. You walk through to kitchen. Kitchen's pretty normal. Except for the, like the 1920s stove. But that's the rest of the kitchen is completely normal. The 1920 stove is the most interesting part of it. The other interesting thing in the kitchen is that that's where the door to the basement is. <laughs> and when we were exploring, Boo had not told us that he had asked us not to go into the basement. So, so we went, went into the basement. the basement. And the basement, the entire, once again, mirrors everywhere. The entire floor is all padded. Like, not just carpeted, like, padded. You walk around, and there's a very clear open area where it smelled kind of weird. <laughs> I'm going... So this is the orgy Ooh. basement, is what we decided to call it. If you turn around to leave the orgy basement, to the left of the staircase, there is a giant poster for the yes. guy who rented us the Airbnb, like him playing a trumpet. And the, all of the text is in Korean. It's all in Korean. The entire text is in Korean. There was another one of those in the... Uh, in in pre the, the pre-fuck contract, contract room. Pre -fuck co yeah. Yeah, there Did was you a translate few of those. It? Did we what, sorry? Did you translate it? Did we translate it? No, we didn't. No. I was tempted Sad. to peel it off the wall so that he could sign it for us. <laughs> <laughs> you what? A little souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So... I mean, what else? What the fuck else? Do you guys have any shit you want to have? No, 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 no. You're not done with the basement. You're not done with the basement. The, the fridge. Oh yeah, the, the, the corpse. The corpse fridge. Yeah, you open oh the fridge and it smells like a, it smells like a rotting corpse. It's it, the, that it fridge must have been off horrible. for like ten years. You open it up and it smells like actual death. It was so fucking awful. Also, the there was just like a like water bottle mirrors. and a beer in it. Yeah, I, I said there are mirrors everywhere. Yeah. Um, no, I have if, a list. I, if I'm describing a room and I don't mention that there are mirrors, just assume that there are mirrors just everywhere. Except, it, it's except, a fucking fun house. Except the, for the, the Weezer room. Place. The Weezer room, Weezer room is, is the, the only one, one that room. Room. It is. It's the only room in the whole house that has no mirrors, oh, the, save for a couple on the floor in the dark clothing sector. Yeah. Because no, also, one, no one fucks in the Weezer room. <laughs> also, wanted, the Weezer room you, had a small enclosure, like a doghouse, but yeah, what? I mean, with that, its the, own the, with its own light. Yeah, but oh, I mentioned if that. If you open yeah. it up, the, the one with all the clothes that were like, yeah, costumes. but if you open it up, it's just suits. It's just nothing but really no, one nice of, suits. One of one of them was suits, and the other one was weird costume clothes. Oh, I wonder why. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. None of them are. By the way, none of none of the outfits we found were sexy in any way. Like they were um, just like normal ass suits. 
it's, in it's the for uh, in, in the large empty room, <laughs> the the man grows food and cooks outside room. Uh, you for, you neglected to mention the cum couch. Yeah, um, I mean, the, yeah, I neglected to mention the cum couch. I neglected to mention that the main lighting source of the entire house are green spotlights that are on the floor. Yeah, I neglected to oh, mention yeah. you, the, the, the I wooden neglected faces to mention on the wall, the the, 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 the all the masks on the walls. I neglected yeah. to mention the painting of the woman with her ass out. Yeah, uh, like, there are yeah. multiple. I neglected to mention. Eagle, I neglected to mention like, the multi-layered three, like three-way Venn diagram coffee table that also had like weed on it. Oh yeah, it it had just like straight yeah, like up I weed, said, like every not single smoked room. or anything. The thing about the clue house, I think Avery's the one who said this, is like every time you walk into a room, there's a new fucked thing that just yeah, that you just, notice. Yeah, that, like okay, imagine that you notice or that wasn't there before. <laughs> The the fucking clue house was like the kind of house that a movie that David would really like from the eighties would be set in. And, <laughs> what the the, fuck? and the modern remake would have like a fucking Elmo's world played in minor key on the trailer. <laughs> I think that's yeah, the vibe of the house. That's really yeah. that's the good vibe. He it looks it it felt like the Winchester house because everything kept changing and there were rooms that led to nowhere. Just yeah, fucking there weird were shit. At least a couple dead ends in that house. Also, outside of the uh, the the bright orange, uh, you know, the uh, the the CD room uh, was a mirror that had a mirror uh, surrounding it, like just oh, yeah. facing the I wall, did not uh, see facing that. the door. There was a mirror with a mirror in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was about. Um, the fucking, fucking. Also, the fireplace had, was a real fireplace, but it had fake wood in it. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a third mirror in there, but it was hidden. Um, the uh, uh, and I I think the only other thing that I can think of right now, I'm sure more. Will, no, yeah, okay. The fucking the attic, normal quote unquote bathroom, is definitely the most normal part of the house, save for the massive bronze uh, sign on one of the walls that simply says "Hello" in cursive. <laughs> I forgot about that. And right under and right under it like there were oh, was, just yeah. two different types of bleach and cleaning oh, yeah. equipment but like really heavy duty cleaning equipment. Yeah. So like I'm this 90% is when David sure is going to try and say that having bleach in a bathroom is just, is suspicious. <laughs> no, two different types of fucking bleach is suspicious. Not really. One for the blood, uh, one for something else. Well, I, what what I found more concerning one is whenever cum. one of the guys we were rooming with later said that he found dried cum on one of the towels. Surprise, surprise. Oh, yeah. Also, oh, we found not... just like cables frayed hanging out of the walls. There are pictures of that. Um, you you also you didn't mention in the in the party room uh, inside that super old nice uh, uh, cherry uh, wardrobe cabinet thing that had the massive TV on it. Uh, it wasn't just booze. It was a it hodgepodge was collage of really expensive audio equipment and really expensive liquor. Yeah, like, like just really, all mixed really and matched together. Dude, there were like two liter bottles of like really fucking expensive liquor in that. Right next to like a fucking SM57 or something. So now that we have described this house, I would like to say oh. that this is the setting we were in when... Mandy started telling me about the witch. I want to mention yeah. one last thing. I want to mention <laughs> one last thing. <laughs> I want to mention one last thing. Every, sing every single light in the hallway was a spinning disco light. I already mentioned that. It's a fucking yeah. Gorgon oh, okay. trap. Oh, dude, we're not even done with it yet, but we'll come back to it. We haven't even gotten to the man. Literally built to trap Medusa. This is Mandy, bullshit. Do you want to tell us about the witch? How, how do I start with the witch? <laughs> I think the way you well, can, can, is a great I can, way to start. I can give you I can give you a start. I can read out the messages you sent me. Oh my god. <laughs> the the environment is, is so just... is so different here. For context, I have um I guess Wiccan neighbors. Yeah. Several of them? Yeah, yeah. remember them? So I from the bongos. <laughs> well there was there was the chanting, but Avery saw the um the saw their outside decorations a while back. Yeah, I saw the I saw the weird summoning circle they put in the hallway that was full that was like a pentagram covered in candles. What? And when uh, whoa. Yeah, and when we, when we went to like uh we all walked up 
and we we all saw it because it was on the second oh, floor. Oh yeah, and Mandy's yeah, on the we third all came floor. back and we just we no all, one said anything. We all just didn't say anything. Then we walked into Mandy's apartment, closed and locked the door behind us, and then all of us just kind of looked at each other and said, "Was that there?" <laughs> 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 so then Dimitri's after- just like I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know if I was really seeing it <laughs> yeah. so then uh, we we unlock the door and we go back downstairs to the second floor and we look and it is there's clearly something there and there's like adornments on their front door as well and we're like alright I'm going to get closer. I want to see what the fuck this is. As we take one step off the stairs and start crossing the first door in the hallway, as we walk past it, it locks as we walk past it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So I'm, I'm prefacing all of this by saying that Mandy's not crazy. I also see this shit when I'm over there. <laughs> this is, that is so fucked up. Yeah. That this is was so a, a fucking while ago. weird. But yeah, the name, like the weird chanting below me might not have been children, but instead like Wiccan women, even though they sure sounded like kids. You decide. Go I back have, to that no episode. Idea. Could be Wiccan yeah, go back. Hey, I, listen, I go back to that episode. Oh, it was on Sundays. Maybe it's like a, a fuck God ceremony they're doing. Yeah. Ooh. Like Sunday, we're going to bang the drums and eat mushrooms today. We don't need a <laughs> church. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how the pagans stick it to the man. You took Christmas from me, you fucks. Yeah, so you take mushrooms from them. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so anyways, I was... <laughs> 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 so the witch and... Inc- oh, what happened? Something happened before that. I had gone... To, I think I went to this Vietnamese place, and I came back. And I was just walking back to my apartment. And I... Uh, what was it? Did I hear a cat? I saw a cat. I saw something. Do you want me to read you the messages really quick? Just to like read, yeah, like, just just the very beginning, because I cannot remember what the what happened. Okay. The I remember there was a cat involved. So at uh, let me look at the. Oh, I don't have the time anymore. I think it was like four a.m. I get a message from Mandy out of nowhere. I think I'm under attack by a witch. If I don't post again within twenty four hours, I lost. <laughs> and then because it's Mandy, and that's just kind of how things go. We had a normal conversation for a bit after that. And then after that, after like seven messages, I said, so what was the witch doing? And you said, <laughs> okay, Oh, wait, wait, I yeah, remember. Yeah, there, you go. there was a cat. Yeah. Yeah, there was. I thought I heard that. That comes later. I saw a cat in the parking lot and I was like, I just stared at it because I hadn't seen this cat before. And it was staring at me because there's um there's two. They're usually around. There's like this big orange one called Garfield. That's clearly feral because he's fucking enormous. And I'm pretty sure he's like devouring other cats. He's so fucking big. He'll like, um, Shut if I go out late to get mail, he'll be like sitting in the middle of the parking lot at 3 a.m. Not giving a fuck. Oh, you named that one Garfield? Yeah. That's, yeah, that fits. I mean, the coyote's been actually, the coyote's been real fucking quiet since Garfield showed up. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> That's actually true. The coyotes haven't done anything since Garfield came over. <laughs> yeah, and then one's just like a, uh, a neighbor's cat, which is an outdoor cat in a fucking parking lot, which is its own, its own special kind of hell. But I saw this weird, like black cat I hadn't seen before. And I, I hate the fucking, the black cat superstition shit, but I was just, I was just looking at this cat and the cat stared at me. We just kind of started staring at each other. And then I heard this bell violently ringing. Violently. Like, yeah. Like really vigorous bell ringing. And I was looking around like, where's this coming from? And then I, I live by like this, uh, this cliff that goes down into like this valley of woods where the coyotes live. And I look up and I realize it's coming from the apartment blocks kind of near the, the um, like this valley. And I look in the second story and there's either like a Tuscan Raider or someone in Destiny 2 concept art. I cannot tell <laughs> if it's a man or a woman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a lady <laughs> like at this old, like this old, like crone woman and like this big covered in weird garb. It's it looked like leather something with like this big, big, like rice farmer hat or something. And it, I guess she's staring in my direction. I can't tell because it's a Tuscan Raider outfit and she's violently shaking this bell, just staring me down. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, I don't know what to do <laughs> because <laughs> I, maybe she's not looking at me and this and this is something I don't understand. And so I go, okay. 
I just going to go inside? <laughs> and then when I went inside, everything was fine. And then when the sun went down, weird shit started happening. I, I'm like working in my office and I start hearing like thumping on the walls, which I'm living on the, um, the top floor and I don't have any like, um, the, the apartments are spaced out enough. I don't have like any neighbors I'd hear through the walls. So it's like, how the fuck is there thumping on the walls? And then I start hearing it on the ceiling. And I'm like, okay, there's no maintenance workers up there. Maybe it could be like raccoons or a possum somehow got up there. I don't know. And then at, at 4 a.m. exactly, I heard what sounded like my refrigerator and TV collapsing in the living room. What? It sounded like, you know, if like, have you ever had like a a pack of like uh, soda or beer or something like it falls over and you hear like, like all these cans and stuff. Going oh over. yeah. 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 It sounded like, like the carbonation. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Up. yeah. It sounded like 10 of those falling over. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like I was like, Holy fuck. Like I thought for sure either my, um, like my TV had fallen out of the cabinet or just like my fridge, a shelf had collapsed. It was so loud. And so I run out of the office into the main room. Everything's fucking pristine. But I'm like, no, like the, the hallway door was open. This, this had to have happened in the apartment. <laughs> my girlfriend woke up and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, I, I don't know. And so we're looking so, around. So she, she heard fucking, it. She definitely oh, yeah. heard it. Oh, yeah. She was in the bedroom sleeping. OK, not just you then. No, because I told Avery, I was like, if that had if she hadn't woken up, I would be convinced I just imagined it. Because I didn't. Because, like, you know, sometimes you're falling yeah. asleep and you'll like have yeah, like totally. a loud noise and you wake up from it. I've been like, oh, that's just, I was falling asleep and I heard a loud thump. But no, she woke up too and like. Yeah, so either, either you're sharing this vision or that actually happened. Yeah, and somehow. it's like there's no fucking way because she was like in a completely different room asleep. Yeah. And it was loud enough to wake her up and it's like the farthest possible room from the hallway or where any noise would be. And so we keep, we find nothing. And she's like, okay, I guess maybe it was someone downstairs. And then the door starts fucking thumping really loud what like not like someone's knocking but like something's like shoulder checking the front door (laughs) so i look at the people because i'm like maybe there's like an animal in the hallway like messing with someone's uh like garbage cans so it's like oh maybe like the garbage cans are out and like some animal knocked like a bunch of bags over and i just was loud enough that we thought it was in the house somehow and so i look out everyone brought their cans in from like i could see so no garbage is out there and all of a sudden, the entire, like, little keyhole to look out from goes completely dark. Uh, like, something, like, uh, rubbed against the door no, all of a sudden. No! <laughs> and it scares the shit out of me, so I jump back. Because it just, like, the lights went off in the keyhole. I went, what the fuck? And they look back, and there's, like, nothing. I'm like, okay, maybe, like, a... Because I have a bird's nest that will appear outside my um, apartment door sometimes in a light fixture. Avery gets like attacked by birds sometimes when he comes over. I don't get attacked. <laughs> That's not true. Dimitri gets attacked. The birds at my apartment are chill. We hang out. The ones here fucking attack people. Yeah, they, they don't, don't attack, attack you. Yeah, they, not you're me. right. They have they dive at Dimitri some yeah, but they dive at like everyone except you. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. Yeah. But I'm just like, maybe it's like a maybe a bird or a bat flew directly in front of the the thing somehow and like and blocked it off. I'm not I'm I have not connected the bell ring to this yet. Mandy, have you ever seen Noroi the Curse? No, I need to though. It is you this is literally the plot to that fucking movie. I'm not even kidding. What the fuck have is it? This is literally yeah, the fucking birds smashing into people and shit. That's literally one part of the that's, fucking that's curse. That's on my fucking list for this October. That and um and a, a cult. The guy's oh, other film. Dude. You gotta, yeah. you gotta Dude, watch that film and then let us know. This is literally Noroi the Curse. What the fuck? Yeah, but here's the here's the weirdest part. Because I'm, I'm still what? trying to like rationalize what's happening because I'm I'm not fucking connecting the Tuscan Raider with the bell to this because I, I'm not I don't jump at witchcraft as the explanation instantly. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh no. Let's just you I'll you just you just go to sleep. I'll come with you. We'll both go to bed because she's like freaking out. She has like a thing about like alarms and people breaking in. So it's like, all right, well, I'll just go in there. And then we start hearing cats going like ape shit. 
And the thing is, it's not like it wasn't like cats in distress, I guess. It was like it was a constant meowing. Meowing or just screaming? No, like there was like a bit of scream then there was like a bit of screaming, but then it just became like meow, 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 meow. Like it sounded like a ringtone almost. What the fuck? Yeah, just like meows over and over. And now I'm like, how the fuck is this coming like from so I thought it was outside the balcony. And so I open up the um the balcony door because I have like a tiny little um thing there. And I hear it, and it sounds like it's coming from right to the side and below me. But I'm like, my downstairs neighbor doesn't have a cat, I think. And I go back in, and I'm hearing them meowing from like a different wall now. And so I'm just hearing meows through the walls. <laughs> and, then and so she's like, she's in bed, just like fucking terrified. And I'm like, it's fine. Like, there's probably an explanation. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to take a piss. Like, I can't, I can't do anything about this. I have to live my life. <laughs> so then like, you know, when, um, we have some pretty like low, low quality toilets here, you know how like on the low ones, like the water will be out of the, um, will just like completely drain for a few seconds. Cause it's like slow to refill. Yeah. So like the toilets, like I do that, I flush it. The toilet's empty and I swear to God, I hear a meow comes out of the toilet, like through the pipe. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Oh, like, what the so fuck? it had that weird, like, ceramic echoing. And it goes, meow. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, these witches know how to have a good time fucking with someone. Holy yeah, shit. So, so I call the bathroom and I'm like, what I'm like goosebumps. I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> She's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just sitting there oh. and I'm like, I'm trying to think, I'm like, okay, it's like, did a cat get in like between the walls somehow? Is there like a cat fucking around like in the pipes? It's like, maybe it's like, maybe, maybe a cat is like gotten to a vent or something. It's like knocking shit around. I'm trying anything to figure out what's happening. I'm sure the answer is something really boring and mundane, but it's 4am. All this has happened in sequence and I'm convinced there's a witch. So I'm like, cause now I'm thinking about the cat I saw earlier. So I just tell Avery, like, what did I, what did I say? Um, <laughs> you said it earlier. Fuck. Uh, you said, funny. I think I'm under attack by a witch. If I don't post again within 24 hours, I lost. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just, I recapped him that, um, like that day. You, uh, but then the, yeah, the okay. next night. Yeah. The, you, you skipped something on that, which was when the, how the meowing stopped. Oh yeah! Oh fuck! <laughs> That's right. It the way it stopped when um when the cat stopped going meow meow. It wasn't like it meowed one more time and like stopped. It was like a sound bite had been cut in half. It was like meow meow meow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Maybe she, they're may, maybe they're fucking with you and they just had like fucking little speakers going. I, and I they don't got tired. No, but like, why would they? <laughs> why would they? Why Who would an elderly knows? Tuscan Raider lady like it doesn't make sense? Because it's funny. The thing is, it was she to wants a point, to be on the podcast. <laughs> no, it, was, <laughs> it was to a point my girlfriend was asking if Dimitri could have done anything because like. Dimitri gets a drunk and you'll start reading out like stupid magic shit he knows about because he's big into D and D and like all that garbage. Yes. And so he's like, yeah. And so he's like, I know about world building. And she's like, did he read any like weird shit when he was drunk? I was like, I don't know. When we were watching like a shitty movie the other night, you started talking about the keys of Solomon or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And so um, yeah. The next night was weird because it was just like electronic shit kind of fucking up. No. That wasn't it. There was one more thing that you told me about. Oh, right. The fucking shower. Blind yeah. The shower blindness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. So, um, I, my girlfriend came out of the shower the next like night and she's like, she's like, I'm really freaking out. Like what's wrong? She goes, I want to take a shower and suddenly I couldn't see. And then when I went to the bedroom, I could see my breath, but it's like 70 degrees in here. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the, what the fuck? 
You guys are haunted. Well, I just it, like, yeah, but I'm thinking like, no, no, there's a sh- like the shower on. There's probably some like heat thing with like, I'm sure there's something about the heat of the bathroom and like the, the cold of the bedroom. And she's seeing her breath for some weird reason or like steam was coming out and she thought her, she saw her breath. I'm like, fuck that. And I'm telling Avery the, um, I'm telling Avery this. I was like, I might have to get like a priest. <laughs> He's like, get a priest. Yeah. I'm like, I might have to. <laughs> but then like, as I'm telling this to him, fucking Netflix and the TV turns on by itself. No and the way. Netflix, like the, you know, the sound is about 30 <laughs> yeah. times louder than it should be. <laughs> like the walls fucking shake. <laughs> And then the PS4 turns itself on and it was completely off and not in like sleep mode or anything. Like I, it's, it's in the, the be off mode. I'm just like, okay, maybe a power surged or something, but I, I don't know why the Netflix baboom was so fucking loud. I'm going, I want maybe to message like Zach Baggins right now. Maybe you had also reset and just like defaulted to max volume or some shit. No, it was like beyond Actually, what I Julian, would, I think it's ghosts. It, it, no, I don't it's know. Witches. It's one hundred percent witches. Because I don't I know what anything happened to me. Listen, I've never heard it that loud. The fucking bass rog was. I was not about that loud. to say, was it? How did it compare to the bass rog? <laughs> it was louder than the bass rog. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, that's witches. Yeah. There's no way that would happen on accident. <laughs> listen, what? listen, Zach Baggins isn't doing anything right now. I say you should message him. You should message him. Well, the th- the I thing. want him to. I, I want him on the podcast so, to explain to us what happened. So I don't really want an explanation for this next part. I don't think because I think whatever is in my head and whatever can be drawn from it is probably more interesting and funnier. Uh, after Mandy says Netflix just turned off by itself and the baboom sound was thirty times louder than it should be, and then the PS4 thing, and then I might legit have to try an exorcism. To that I say, what the fuck? Then, no response for 24 hours. So I message him again. Any witch updates? Again, no response for 24 hours. Third day. Yo, are you good? No response for 24 hours. (laughs) Then, I get a message from Mandy. It's defeated for now. (laughs) (laughs) That's when we... That literally... I, I remember... I remember when you got that because I think we I, we were either in the we car were in the van. back. Yeah, we were in the van on the last day and you just said like, oh my God, he's alive. And we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There was a genuine sigh of relief in the van. After, yeah, because after yeah, everybody was, was actually genuinely afraid for a minute. Like, yeah, Avery, shit, was, okay? Avery was very adamant that that amount of silence after that was is abnormal. It's never it's happened. Weird. Yeah. It was weird. It was weird. And then the the interaction in the DMs after that is, holy shit, you're alive. Yeah, things got weird, but it's over, I think. Did you win? <laughs> Maybe. The door didn't get rammed last night, so I slept a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up. Is there more to the story that you would like to share? Or would you like to leave it at that? I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Fuck it. For now? Uh, Mandy. <laughs> for <it>. now? <laughs> we were Do you want to wait for the extended no. cut? We were talking about, but it, um, like before we recorded this, I was like, Avery, I don't know if I should talk about the witch because not thinking about the witch made the stuff not happen. <laughs> and I don't know if talking about the witch. Oh fucking my god! It. I don't know how the rules work. Yeah, so Mandy, there is there is uh, there is a running theory that talking about the witch might make the witch shit happen. So the reason oh, that no. I explained that that was the setting in which we learned about the witch is that um, the next day, trying to get the van and get the travel going. Everything was fucked. Everything, I, everything that was fucked. Before that, we wound up having to that, leave. Like, I would, I want to mention, like, can we rewind, like, to when we, when you were getting oh. those messages from Mandy, because we had a phantom among us. Oh yeah. So I want to. Oh yeah. While we, while we were talking and reading out these messages, and we were watching men, men grows food and cooks outside, um, <laughs> we start hearing some thumps in the house. And we're like, that's weird. And we walk around and we notice that, oh, the basement door is locked now and closed. I guess the owner came in and like locked the basement because he realized he had forgotten to. And Boo hadn't mentioned to us that we weren't supposed to be going down there. So we kind of wind down for the night. We do. We have some drinks. Julian is fucking ragdolling in the corner on an air mattress while we're all talking. It was really fucked up. We were just like having a good time and all of a sudden he just falls flat and just started like wiggling around. Yeah. 
That's no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, you, you did. You what? Actually, that's what happened when Julian, you fell asleep. I'm not, that's what when you, yeah, when you, Julian, you got so fucking wasted at one point. You literally just flopped on your bed and started wiggling, and everybody was like, "What the fuck is he doing?" What? what? Yeah, no, you, you did what? That. That's yeah, not you, a you, joke. You, you did do onto that. <laughs> what? Yeah, that happened. <laughs> yeah, so. We wind down for the night. Everyone's had some drinks. We do some shots of moonshine. Uh, and then we go oh, to yeah, bed. I remember that. And I, <laughs> yeah, f- can't, a future. I can't sleep well at all in this house on the air mattress in the I wonder why. drive room. <laughs> um, and it's, it's extra annoying because I was also up for 24 hours prior to being in that house. So I'm operating on like three hours of sleep for three days. Uh, oh, oh, I just want to also say that half the air mattresses didn't have bedding. Including yeah. mine. They were just, so they, just, were just <laughs> they were just they were just air mattresses. Just, sleep on him, my, bitch. My night of sleep was uh with a w- was a hoodie on my torso, f- f- like back forward, and then a backpack on my legs just to keep myself from getting cold. Right. Some people just slept without anything. This is yeah. a it's a cool time. So I wake up first out of everyone. I wake up at like six something in the morning. And I, I wake up and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of hungry. I could go for I could go for a leftover slice of Chicago deep dish pizza mm. because we because that's what we had had for dinner I'm, the night before. I'm so sorry. I'm so I have to mention one other do thing. You? I'm, do you have I'm to sorry. keep cutting me off? I do because I, I'm trying to be <laughs> chronological. And like this was minute? after. And <laughs> can no, because this like was this seconds, was Julian. This was on the fucking like. It has to do with the whole haunting shit, because my... Well, you, you, you don't have to ma- cut me off. You can let me finish my thing first. I thought you were going to lead into the breakfast stuff. I was going to lead into the fact that I woke up before everyone else. It's like six something in the morning. I walk into the kitchen to get a slice of leftover pizza. While I'm sitting at in the kitchen uh, reheating my leftover pizza, the fucking basement door <laughs> unlocks. Door opens. <gasps> fucking William, the owner of the house, just walks out and he says, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Julian, did you not did know? You didn't tell me about that. Oh, he, dude, that's what, dude. That's why we. That's why we all kept saying that that <laughs> Julian, like, he was actually in the house. No, every- I knew he was in the house. I didn't know that's how he materialized. Yeah. Well, from the basement, he was Holy always fuck. in the basement listening. Sorry for cutting you off. Actually, I that's you not were true. Talk sometimes about our he, sometimes he would he, he would like skitter skitter around the fucking house, and we would hear him go like, yeah. To go get alcohol. I was gonna say about how after we were all fucking wasted, at one point I like I went to the I went I I needed to use the bathroom, brush my teeth and shit, and um David uh also needed to do that. So I was like, okay, wordless, because we were tired and drunk. I was just, I just stepped out and looked at him, and he walked into the bathroom. He's wearing nothing but uh, boxers, by the way. Hell yeah. Um, boxers course. and glasses. Uh, Brace, he's in the please. bathroom for a uh, amount of time, and then he, he he walks out. And I need to paint the picture here. It, none of the lights are on, but the one in the bathroom, uh, and it is rim lighting David's silhouette. I can see none of his features. Uh, I can see, but but the light is like shining through. There's like God rays genuinely. Uh, and just David standing there with his arms slightly like outward in like a weird fucking A pose. And, he's, and he just stares at me, my dumb drunk face with a toothbrush hanging out of my mouth for like 15 seconds, wordless, slightly frowning, and then walks to his room. I don't and, uh, even remember doing that to you. What, David? What the fuck? It was the way. I was don't that? remember. I was drunk. You, you looked actually angry. <coughs> I was drunk. I was just sitting there with like toothpaste dripping out of my mouth, <laughs> confused. I like I don't remember that. I don't remember anything. You, I was drunk. You didn't even blink, David. I didn't blink. You. That you, sounds you, like me. It looked. You were motionless. <laughs> You that walked away. Like you walked away and gave me a dirty look back. Like, yeah, don't fucking do that again. And then just close the door. <laughs> Funny. Well, I don't know. So I don't think I think you were too drunk to be making jokes like that. Well, the next day of travel, I was gonna say was pretty uneventful. So we can segue into the wedding reception. 
Yeah. Uh, like, Wait, can I? Can I? Oh yeah, Corbin. Uh, uh, Mandy, I I'm 100 percent convinced it was witches. I'm like you're, you're not crazy. <laughs> the same exact thing happened to my uh, ex girlfriend. What? 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 what the fuck? Are you doing? Oh. <laughs> We're having like big reveals right now. This is sick. The what? only thing I'll ask is, did at any point did she also embarrassingly scream, "I don't believe in you" in the middle of her living room <laughs> to make it go away? <laughs> did you, did you scream in your living room, "I don't believe in you"? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I'm just imagining, fucking! Oh my god! I'm imagining that one scene in I know what you did last summer, and you're just twirling around, looking in the air, and going, "What are you waiting for, huh?" <laughs> I heard another fucking slam the door at one point in one of the later nights where I wasn't on much of anything. <laughs> No, I was Holy losing shit. my mind the entire fucking time because literally almost the same exact thing happened to my girlfriend. Uh, what? I was I was over there one night and uh, I was leaving to go home and there was a black cat sitting at the front of her oh, door. God. What the fuck? I was like, <laughs> no. I was like, that's so fucking cute. And I yeah. tried to pet it. And as soon as I tried to pet it, it just it sprinted off into like the darkness and disappeared. And I didn't think anything about it. And... Uh, Maybe, oh no, actually like a day before that, I had uh, gone to go see her roommate's room because she had a new roommate that just moved in. And when I walked in, uh, pentagrams all over the walls. What? 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 Oh my God. It's very overt. And she was like, yeah, I'm studying witchcraft. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Goodbye forever. And, um... So that night, right after the cat, I go home and I'm sleeping and she calls me at like three in the morning and she's like, I just heard this like giant crash. Um, It like shook the entire house and she's like, I'm home alone right now. Like there's no one else here. Um, I don't know what it is. I think I think uh, my roommate summoned something before she left and is putting hexes on us. (laughs) And she's like. And I'm like, calm down. Probably something just fell. Like, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, no, it's definitely a ghost. Can you please come over? And I said, not if it's a ghost. (laughs) 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 Oh, my God. And then, uh, so I went back to sleep at my house. And uh, the next day, I went to spend the night over there. We watched a movie. It's really normal. Went to bed. And uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and her dog would sleep in her room and her dog is just growling like at, at nothing, like at a shadow in the room. No, it's growling at absolutely nothing. I don't like and this, it. It, this giant fucking thud, like a, like 12 bodies had hit the side of the wall and we're home alone. Yeah. The fucking, the thud sound <laughs> and the whole, like the whole house just shook. And uh, as soon as the house shook, she sat up and she was like, did you hear it? And I was like, yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> we need a Corbin in every horror movie ever. Holy shit. <laughs> Just, yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, so I got up and left and she had her house exercised. And uh, Wait, did she actually? Yes. She, called her, <laughs> she legitimately called a priest to her house. And uh, a priest came and exercised her house. Because I told her, I was like, yeah, just fucking exercise that shit. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no The lesson way. is Salem didn't go far enough. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No one should and have then- survived the crucible. <laughs> She ended up, she ended up like st- weird stuff kept happening. And so I just said, you should probably move. And then she did. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Everyone wants Holy to buy quartz to moon bathe in their fucking windows until oh demons start God. pounding on the walls. <laughs> I can't, I cannot believe you're having the same experience. Holy shit. The thing is she so invited maybe, it on uh, herself. I, I got a, a bell rung at me by a Tuscan Raider. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck did I do? You stared the at the cat. The apartments downstairs were marked. Haunt them. 
Well, maybe they just imagine they got the wrong address. They summoned the demon to the wrong fucking coordinates. They messed up their circle. They were using Waze instead of Google Maps. No, they were protection. Oh. They were protection seals. They're they using fucking pentagrams. American measurement units for the pentagram. Genuinely, David, th- that that there might be truth to that. And that's yeah. They were up. using protection seals, bro. Let's oh. summon a demon and then protect ourselves from it. Haha, ha, now we have a demon in the apartment complex. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to make you rich? What, like, why did you do this? He just wants to hang out and fuck around. He's going to go. They're, think- they're, they're going to take a picture of it and go to that one. Uh, that one place where it's like, oh, proof to me magic is real and I'll pay you billions. Man, I'm going to I'm gonna put an electric yeah. fence around my house and I'll release a velociraptor into the neighborhood. Ha ha ha. Do you think that there's a chance that it might be revenge for the base no, rog? No, the base rog was months ago. Um, I didn't, it okay. might not even be the same okay, neighbor. I, th- I, think, I think we need to ask what? Oh, So I, I have a, um, a sound bar because I don't have okay. like a... Um, I'm in an apartment, so I don't want like my neighbors to kill me. So I don't have yeah, like yeah, yeah. A, a surround system or anything. And the Lord of the Rings uh, 4K thing came out last December. Yeah, this was a while yeah, ago. Yeah, this was ages ago. Yeah. Yeah. And so we had um like, oh, well, gets people watch the watch the movies again. Boy, Return of the King looks like Revenge of the Sith. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we're watching um we're watching Fellowship of the Ring. And I'm like, oh, the base setting could go up pretty like I'll turn the bass up kind of high for the Barog. It'll be really immersive. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and like we hear we hear the steps of it and it's just like uh, boom boom. It's like it's kind of loud, but it's not like crazy. So it's like, oh, this is like cool and like it probably won't bother the neighbors. And then it roars. <laughs> the entire fucking Building shakes. <laughs> <laughs> did, like things on the walls were rattling. Like, it, didn't, it didn't make a sound. It unleashed a wave. Like I couldn't describe oh the God. sound at all. It was just like there was suddenly pressure in the building. Wait, <laughs> Avery, you heard it? it was, uh, no, I was there that no, night. No, Avery was there. Oh, was there. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. That was the night where we <laughs> heard it from across the way. <laughs> yeah. No, like uh, the other apartment building. Yeah, no, it was it was the night where we watched all of the Lord of the Rings movies in one sitting and I had yeah. I learned that I have the superpower to like narcoleptic pass out whenever Treebeard appears on screen and wake up yeah, the second like, it cuts away from him. <laughs> he's like, man, the two towers is the best fucking movie. It's so well paced. <laughs> we realized that every time a tree scene popped up, he would fall asleep and the second it ended, he'd like be alerted back awake. <laughs> like, I was, getting, <laughs> movie so I was like getting defibrillated awake by the lack of Treebeard. <laughs> <laughs> And then like, that's right, because fucking Dimitri kept saying Frodo was at risk and all this stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's because Frodo's at what? risk. Golem, Golem already fell for the risk. Fucking Christ. <laughs> fucking Frodo at risk is the funniest <laughs> shit. <laughs> Frodo's at risk. <laughs> uh, so the wedding? Yeah. I, yeah. So uh, yeah. all the boys were at the clue house and I was getting ready for the reception. Um, not a lot of like super eventful stuff. I picked up my friend Stebby because uh, he flew into the actual small airport from Texas. He wasn't coming from anywhere. So picked him up. We went out to eat. Um, I accidentally ate somebody else's food at the restaurant because I'm stupid. Uh, you should clarify and, that yeah. you don't mean someone else at your table. No, okay, so we went to a place called Hoo Hot. It's a Mongolian grill. I was teaching Stebby how to get food there. You bring it up, and it's like a big round hibachi. They they grill the food. We ordered three Dr. Peppers, three dark drinks, and a bowl of rice. And we go over. I go over first. I get my food. I get it made, and I grab my plate, and I walk over, and... I walk over to uh, what I think is our table. I sit down. The rice is there. And I'm like, oh, sick. I grab rice. I start putting it on my plate. I grab a drink and I take a big sip. And I'm like, that's a weird Dr. Pepper. So Stebby comes over. He sits right in front of me to the left of me. And he's like, oh, yeah, this isn't Dr. Pepper. This is tea. Weird. Keeps drinking it. And my (laughs) wife, Shelby, walks around. She's like, guys, that's the wrong table. (laughs) And I turn around. I'm like, oh, fuck. Our table is right behind this one. So we go, we, we, we eat our food, whatever. I apologize to the people. And that's like the first day. And then the next day, everybody is getting into Chicago. Uh, there is, 
I'm going to say in the night, this is probably around 9, 10 p.m. No, I'm going to say like 10, 11 p.m. Uh, the lights all go out in my apartment. The power goes out because of thunderstorms. The witch. Oh, so actually there's an addendum that I'd like to add to the witch oh my God. Uh, after the reception oh my fucking that God. I forgot to tell you all at the bar. Uh, <laughs> so lights go out next day, whatever. Uh, then finally, the wedding reception, we have to go pick up Olive Garden. Shelby and I have a million fucking things to do, get my family all wrangled, and then meet up with everybody to make sure that they get there okay. The night before the reception, however, uh, everybody is in town uh, at their hotel, and they're like, oh, yeah, let's go meet up, see each other. Uh, we'll drop off Akira, and uh, we, I, I believe y'all were hungry. <laughs> We were fucking starving. Y'all were starving. And uh, Sioux City, there's not any options for food late at night. So we had to go to Perkins, which is like a shitty Denny's, and wait for 45 minutes That's to be seated. That's a low bar. A shitty, shitty Denny's, Denny's is a horrible bar. It <laughs> Perkins, was Perkins was better, better than, than Denny's, Denny's, if I'm honest. The food is better than Denny's usually, yes. So but it's I, a better Denny's. What? I, I I haven't been to many Denny's. I've been to one Denny's. What the fuck? It must have been okay. a fucking terrible. Must have been a it really a, good Denny's, I guess. It was a pretty good Denny's, yeah. That was my yeah. experience with Denny's. Okay, cool. There's a video you can find on the internet of someone paying their Denny's tab by giving another guy a blowjob. I know that. <laughs> I know that about Denny's. There's like, another what? video you can find online of a. Uh, of a like a like a late high school band playing like screamo death metal at 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> Denny's with a mosh pit in it where he, where he screams what the fuck is up Denny's and then screams into the mic. Really, that sounds really fun. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I wish I was there. But yeah, everybody's at the Perkins, aka Better Midwestern Denny's, I guess. And uh, I don't know, it wasn't super eventful there aside from the wait. I believe that. Um, Stebby kept holding the door open for drunk people over and over happen. again. He would just open the door very politely every time somebody would come in. And then I remember somebody talking about Scooby snacks very violently while we were paying the bill leaving. Well, actually, there was like when we were when we were leaving, there was a drunk, the, a drunk lady that just like held the door for me. And she said, yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, what the fuck? Because I was the last one to leave, and I was like, oh, what the fuck? Did the smell of my city disappoint? <laughs> no, I, we, literally, we literally knew we were in when it started smelling. <laughs> you know, you enter the Sioux City like limits when you start smelling garbage and sewage. It was mostly sewage. Yep, that's why they call it Sewer City. Otherwise, um, yeah, day before the reception, I think was mostly fine. Uh, Y'all rested at the hotel. We went back to our house. We slept, woke up, got ready for the reception, had the reception already. Uh, and I believe, yeah, not really a whole lot happened aside from like me helping my great aunt like set up beforehand before y'all arrived. And y'all, I think, arrived in groups because there was only one Uber that was working. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So y'all had to arrive in groups of like three or four. So the Uber kept repeatedly coming back with different groups of the boys. Uh, and then oh. my mom was really aggressively making sure that everybody was using the photo booth that she paid for. My favorite part was just tweeting about Julian doing different things to my family members when he wasn't actually doing anything. <laughs> that, that was my favorite. What's really bit. fucked up is that you guys slipped nuggets of truth into it. <laughs> Brendan, did yeah, you tweet about it, it, how Julian at the bar ordering like a wine slushy or something said, I'm going to commit a hate crime out loud? Uh, yes. So Julian walked up to the bar and I'm sitting there and and it's after his interaction with Boo and Julian <laughs> at the bar. Th we're at this winery owned by this really nice old couple and they're manning the bar. And I'm sitting there at the at the bar and Julian walks up and we're talking about something. And Julian's like, all right, I'm going to go commit a hate crime. And he walks away. What I the said. Bartender. You did. You said, I'm going to go commit no, a hate no. crime. No, I said, I said, I need something to clean up a spill because Boo made me commit a hate crime. Yes. Yeah, that's right. You needed something to, that's right. You spilled something and you had to go to the bar. No, and I Boo the bar. made me spill spill something he didn't make you you you're fucking you, stop it you're fucking he nudged my arm <laughs> i wouldn't have been hateful look at your fucking arm fucking that, noodle ass julian do you call guy on, really quick julian do you call party fouls hate crimes is that what i'm learning right now 
<laughs> he goes, <laughs> <"Bah!"> sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so bad i kind of like it <laughs> yeah i remember i remember just a lot of good times i was running around like a chicken with my head cut off though making sure my family and shelby's family was okay shelby worked in news for a while so a lot of her family member a lot of my family members who are like the awful ones kept talking to like the news anchor who's a local news anchor around here and kept oh, asking no. for pictures oh really and wow. my like two cousins that were there kept bothering the shit out of me even though i was like hosting it because their dad wouldn't like actually deal deal with them and like do anything. So they kept walking up to me and asking me for like piggyback rides. Hey, come play with me. Hey, and it's like, why are you talking to me? I'm trying to like, deal. You were like genuinely rude a couple of times. I was because I was like, Hey, you need to stop. <laughs> This is my wedding reception. Mom, will you come get them, please? Will somebody wrangle these kids? I, there are like eight, there are like 60, 70 people there. I don't have time to deal with children. <laughs> it was the fucking have, worst. You should have rented an it Xbox. It was really funny to me to hear you retroactively talk about how relieved you were that people did not mingle. I was so happy that people in my family didn't like mingle with like Shelby's family at all. And like my other friends that were there really just came in, ate, hung out for a little bit and left like uh shout out to Brett, who was a PST fan. And I basically like embarrassed him to the point where he didn't want to talk to anybody who was part of the <laughs> cast there. <laughs> he was so, he was so mad uh, at me because I introduced him. I introduced him as a PST fan and then he was too scared yeah. to come over to talk he, to yeah, everybody. He, he, Brendan was like, hey, David, come say hi to a fan. And I was like, okay. And I went to say hi to a fan. He was like, I, I hate you so much, Brendan. If, if you <laughs> didn't introduce so me like that. <laughs> he, yeah, he was, he he was visibly so upset. upset. I love Brett, though. Brett's super nice. Shout out to Brett. Uh, also, shout out to Olive Garden as well. I don't think you mentioned that. Oh, yeah. So I had Olive Garden catering, big which ups, we still have. Big ups you know, to Olive Garden. Nine days later, we still have leftovers in our fridge. Hell yeah. It is, it's it is been nine stacked. days. What the fuck? Yeah, throw it is. It is. If it's just, no, it's actually I, I was, still good. I, you know, whenever I, I was, whenever I was thinking about like being invited to a wedding reception, cause I've never been to a wedding reception for, I was like, I, I wonder what this is going to be like. I wonder what I need to do. And then, you know, after being to Brendan's wedding reception, I still don't think I actually know what a wedding reception is it's like. A party. No, because no, yeah, it's a party, but like we also had a really laid back. I, Shelby and I wanted it to be really laid back because people were going to bring their kids and we wanted to make sure they were as bored as possible so that they didn't do anything stupid. <laughs> yeah, so that no, they wouldn't I mean, bring their kids. I'm mainly just saying about the whole like Olive Garden catering and wine slushies. Type I mean, that's situation. also like a Midwestern wedding reception is what you got to experience was just like a chill <laughs> I party. Guess. I mean, if you go to a more fancy one, you're going to have to deal with like rituals and trials and tribulations and shit. What rituals? Oh God, we're back. <laughs> what? Oh, at the reception, Avery is telling me about the witch stuff. So he's, he's describing it to me and I don't think about it until we start breaking down. Everybody starts leaving. Shelby's got to get her news friends out. I got to get gotta my get friends ready. out. Yeah. We got to get ready to go to a bar. We're going to go to really a bar. Fucking we get a recommendation from Shelby's friends and they're there. And, um, the, the, the witch stuff is playing in my mind a little bit. Shelby and I are driving back to the house, uh, to clean up and change into like more fitting clothes. So we can go to the bar right after, uh, with Stebby and James. And, uh, as we're driving out of the winery right back into town, uh, I see a black cat stop in the middle of the road Fuck in front off. of our car. <laughs> no. No. Oh my God. No. 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 Dude, we started thinking about it. In my mind, a black cat stops in front of our car. We stop. The black cat runs across into the woods, and I start fucking freaking out. <laughs> yes. We're elkers. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> I was like, no, this isn't fucking happening. So we get to the bar and the bar is fucking, I love that bar. I'm going to go back that there. That bar 100%. was really fun. Yeah, yeah, it was a nice I place. Remember, uh, I want to well, say really nice the bar. Nice place, I want to say really yes. quick. When we got to the bar, I sat down next to Ten, who's a friend of ours, who is, uh, if you like watch Corbin's streams and you watch like the Prey streams, you already know who Ten is. But uh, yeah. Ten is a friend Good who's friend. like, a real normal person. And so we sit down at the dive bar. He orders a beer. 
I'm the next to order. I order a beer. Next person to order is Boo. We're at a dive bar, and Boo leans forward and goes, um, yes, can I see your cocktail menu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man I, I gotta get him out I gotta get him out more man holy shit when he did that I felt like I felt like so embarrassed I mean I David like, oh, you man. also went after Boo and you didn't know how to open a tab <laughs> no he and didn't know how to open a tab you also did it what we, do you mean why are you putting this on anyone I, else what how do you not know how to open a what tab do you mean? I did open you a tab you did but you were you wouldn't give her your fucking card at first Oh, well, that's because it's fucking weird. Yeah, so you didn't know how to open a tab. Yeah. And then after... Yeah, after yeah, watching, fucking... That's because it's that's only in America weird. that after you guys do that. Three, okay. Only in America so let do you go open on a bar then. tab after, like that. After oh seeing multiple people open a tab, it goes down the line. It gets to Julian. He also can't figure out how to open a tab. Being an American and having seen five people just do it right in front of him. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be fair... <laughs> To be fair, he wasn't listening. He was like, I think he was like thinking, he was ordering like Papa staring John's intently the at the. I was he did order about Papa John's and Papa for the John's. bar. Which, I mean, my favorite part of the night was at the end of the night where we were there till bar closing and Julian offered the rest of the pizza to the bartender. (laughs) 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 Like like, spaghetti falling out of his pocket. Like, you're so nice. Do you want the rest of this pizza? (laughs) She was actually so fucking nice, though. And she he was dealt gonna with go to the waste. most fucking moronic No, I took the pizza ever. and then it fell out onto the floor in our car and then I threw it so away. So it went to waste. Nice. She should have had it. Waste. Yeah. The fucking... She'd been working I, for a I long wanted, time. I bet I she was I went to the bar. I went to the bar wearing like a woman's... A, a small woman's dangan romper shirt. Tank top. And a children's... Yeah. And a children's fucking dangan romper hat. <laughs> so that I could... So that I could be the most upsetting possible... And it was weirdly on. Un- Nobody mentioned it. I think because I had we were just in, yeah. It was just us inside. I wanted, Everyone else was outside. I kind of wish. Yeah, I kind of wish there were more people at the bar so I could have funny looks. Nobody there were, looked there at were like my dang fifteen Rampa people shirt. at the outside bar, but y'all were inside. I had to keep going in and out with uh, Shelby. Shelby separated from us and went to hang out with her news friends, and so I was we in were, and out we to like playing, interact with we them. We were playing darts. We were playing darts. Yeah, fair. So that's why we want to stay inside. So. I'm just upset. I looked fucking bomb ass with that dang and rompa drip. I was more confused. Like I saw your dang and rompa drip, and I was like, "That's David." And then I saw Julian's shirt, and I was like, "Oh my fucking god, you're gonna get beaten the fuck up!" Somebody's gonna <laughs> what beat are you, you wearing up. again. What were you wearing again? I remember yeah, that was no, the I worst. The Somebody's one. either gonna beat you so, up or glomp on you. I, uh, That's the Sioux City fucking <laughs> left and right. How awful. Okay, no, I I made a I made a point of wearing a worse shirt every day um, leading up to the reception. The the last shirt wasn't that worse. Yeah, well, you that know, worse. after the reception, I you know, the reception I was running out of material. You, you had to point. cool down. Yeah, the reception cool down. was the highlight. Like, Shelby I wouldn't let me wear my Five Nights at Freddy shirt, and I'm still fucking pissed the, about it. The day before, I think the shirt said, "I only need one more annoying fool to complete my super villain origin story." So by all means, say something. Yeah. Um, the the one good. I wore at the night was uh, bought for me by a friend. Uh, the other, they both were actually. They came from. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, oh, I remember. <laughs> and, and I remember it just your said shirt now. Furries anonymous. Don't show. Don't tail. Don't ask. Don't tail. Yeah. Don't ask. Oh, yeah. Don't tail. Yeah, and, had, and the the anonymous hat was like turned into a fox tail. We're just upsetting to we. Why are we? Why do we even go out in public? We're so fucking upsetting to be around. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I I'm, think, exci- I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited about that was, the convention because Brendan Corbin and I are all going in Best Buy shirts. Yes. Oh no! Are I'm you so fucking excited? Yeah. Why are you? You're planning shit behind my back. What the fuck? <laughs> you didn't, you didn't <laughs> work at Best Buy. Buy. Some of us work at Best Buy. You didn't work at Best oh, Buy. Why would you be so a part of sad. that? I don't know. I just. Uh, I, I can I can make my own Best Buy shirt. I don't know. If I can, I'll buy a blue shirt. If you, if hey, you buy a blue shirt you and then Sharpie Best Buy onto it, I would love at that. Best Buy? I don't know. I've got, I've got, I've got one that just says volunteer. I'll give it to David. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because we're going to too many games in like a month in October for those. All right. I would like to take a moment for that. in Philadelphia. On the trip back. What? 
to Chicago for the yes. last night. Oh, right before um, right before the trip back. Okay, um, the day after the reception, we had to fucking move. And Boo and Ten and everybody are fucking lads. They stopped <gasps> oh, like for 20 to anything. 30 minutes and helped move boxes. And Boo and Ten uh, like moved our couches down to the U-Haul for us because like a bunch of people that were going to help me ended up backing out. Shane also, also helped, did that. Say, yeah. Shane, yeah, Shane, Shane also Shane fucking also did helping. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody else. Come on. <laughs> uh, I lifted like three boxes. I, I looked at a box. Yeah, David looked at a box. Avery, I think, no, I, tried to I, help with the couch. I, did. I, hel- I helped with the couch. I, down, I, I did. I did mostly uh, boxes and a little bit, and I and I did boxes. Okay, well, it's not a competition, Avery. I'm, <laughs> um, I'm, what, Julian? You? <laughs> I was actually <laughs> <What>? the best. <laughs> it was like I moved Avery, like, three boxes. <laughs> it was like it Avery, was like you a <laughs> church function, so it carries like eight chairs at a time. What? <laughs> 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 That's how I got my girlfriend in high school. <laughs> that shit works though. Yeah, it does. It does. It was like right. it was like reception and then moving day and then moving day and like the forty eight hours after the reception, it was twenty eight hours of moving shit. Yep, that's uh, so that's a move. Absolute pain. All right, but yes, uh, your y'all's trip back. So trip back. We're in the van. We are driving back. It's going pretty normal at this point. I don't know about that. And I think I think it was pretty all. Aw- it got pretty awful when we started listening to Weezer. I mean, it was just it was just it wasn't like story worthy though. It was like, oh, someone played Weezer. Okay, no. fucking. Oh, um, someone played Weezer. Get them. Okay, so we're driving back. It's pretty fucking normal. Someone plays Weezer since I guess that needs a mention. Um, yes, and we uh, we're about halfway. We're about halfway there, and we're we're coming into Illinois from Iowa, and. Julian requests his 88th stop to and from because his okay, bladder he, is the size no. of a thimble. Worse than that. <laughs> we literally stopped like 10 minutes ago or no, something like didn't. that. No, you didn't. Don't lie. You don't need to lie. The <laughs> that truth is, is not bad a enough. fucking lie. We literally stopped for gas. We got out. And then you were like, I got to pee. Like maybe like 10 minutes after we left. I had my eye on the clock. It was not 10 minutes. I was waiting to ask because I didn't want to, you know, do it soon. So after. you did. So you did have to pee 10 minutes after we left. Well, yeah, but I didn't ask 10 minutes after. Regardless, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't. Julian says we need to stop. So we go into Google Maps and we request uh, that Google Maps takes us to a come and go um, because it's the closest gas station that Google says exists. So at the coming, so it's taking us off of the highway, like pretty decently far into some sort of back roads. Like, and as we're driving at least away, like weirdly a weird amount. Yes. So as we're like pulling, as we're like getting close, it says like in 0.1 miles, there'll be a come and go. And we're all looking around at fields and shacks and we pull up. To where it says the come and go is, it's an open gate that leads down a path to what is clearly a witch hut. Oh, and it's a dirt it, road. It by was the way. like it's a dirt it was road. like yes. decrepit. It was like a decrepit ass. Yes, it was hut. like a collapsing like witch hut wood. with with a truck that has been there since the 1990s. It was it was like so th- that truck was so rusted as over. We, it as, was insane. As, yeah, we see that it says that the come and go is there. We see that it's asking us to turn into this gated dirt road to a witch hut, and we have all had witch on the mind the entire trip. So the person driving, uh, like, takes one look at the dirt road. We don't even stop and just accelerates and says, no, we're not fucking going down there. Find me another gas station. And at this point, Google Maps stops working pretty much. And we just drive forward and we go around two roundabouts in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh and yeah, I was snap. I was the one on the GPS and my snap. my phone just stopped working. Yes. Snap. We're in the get out neighborhood. <laughs> we don't fucking know how we got to the get out neighborhood. <laughs> we were in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by fields and shacks. And as we drive through the get out neighborhood, we get signal again. And so we look for a gas station. And in the middle of this suburban neighborhood, there is a gas station that is flanked by like houses. So we go in there, we stop, we get some moonshine. 
David gets some vampire incense, and then we get on no vampire no, blood. I, I, vampire I got a, blood I got incense. the mud the, <laughs> the mud slide for the gas yeah. station mud slide that said is in cursive so, on the bottom. The alcohol now is that, in it. Now that we had service, we decide to do a little dig. It. We decide to uh, well, no, this is after the fact. After we got back, um, someone tracked down the exact come and go that we were trying to go to, and we switched to a satellite view to see, is there a come and go? Because there was a, the dirt road went up a hill and it was saying that the come and go was over that hill from us. So we wouldn't see it until we were already going down the road. There's no come and go. There is literally There's nothing. no come and There's go. There's just the hut. I posted like the, guests. The satellite, the satellite pictures image. of the hut. The it's fuck. so, it's so fucked. The witch was trying to bait us with a fake Zero come and go. reviews. I checked. Yeah. Zero reviews. It's not real. <laughs> it's just a field. Not even yeah, like negative reviews say it. Not even negative reviews <laughs> saying this isn't real. Just nothing. But imagine, imagine if we went there, we could have died. The w- the witch is hidden in there. Anyway, so <laughs> as we continue from there, we get out of the get out neighborhood. We get back on the highway somehow. I still don't understand how that works. Yeah, uh, we get back on the highway. We continue driving, and we start talking about how fucked up would it be if the witch fucked with shit to the point that we get back to the clue house and everything is kind of different. (laughs) (laughs) So on the drive back, it's getting late. Uh, We're getting, we're like planning to get to the, get to the house, drop our shit off uh, and then just go out and do uh, and just go out and fucking eat dinner, have some drinks uh, for the last night. Since it's the last night that we're there, we wanted to go out and do something, blah, 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 blah. We get back to the house. We open the door. First, that fucking thing I notice. Everything is slightly fucking different. <laughs> the layout of the house is slightly fucking changed. Every single room, shit has been moved. Mirrors have switched corners. Fucking the couches have been reset up, so now you can actually look at the TV from them in the in the man grows food and cooks outside lights, room. You go into all the, par- the lights are different places as well. You go into the party. Some of the room. lights have been changed out. Some of the yeah. lights have been changed out. Some of them are regular light bulbs. Some of the some of them are disco bulbs. Some of the green spotlights are, are in different bulbs. places, lighting up masks on the walls. You go into the party. <laughs> Party. You go into the party room. There's now an air mattress in the party room. You look through the glass to the pre fuck contract room. There's now the desk has been moved into the corner. It's still clearly in the pre fuck contract setup, but in the other side of the room, there's another air mattress. You keep going through. Every single room has been slightly fucking altered. You go up into the Weezer room. Everything is slightly different. The camera is missing. The camera is not there. <laughs> the camera is not oh, there. You shine a flashlight through. You see the room. The Mac Mini is missing. Oh, and all the clothes are, are like in different positions. The clothes have all been moved around as well. I didn't know that. What yeah. the fuck? They were all yes. still there, but they were different. So we're all, this is kind of sensory overload because we're all having to order like multiple Ubers to get into town so that we can go to this bar. Um, and the first Uber is like, I forget who it was. Boo, Shane, David. I know, I think that was it. Boo, Shane, David. So we're all waiting outside and this house is not in a great neighborhood. So we're kind of thinking, uh, I'm standing next to like a couple of the, of the other guys that we went with, uh, Nate and Joe. And, uh, we're waiting, we're standing outside waiting for Uber and we're starting to talk about like, do you think maybe we should wait inside? So like, just for like for safety reasons. And then as we say that a fucking car comes barreling down the road that the house is on at like fucking 60 in the, and this is in a neighborhood at like 60 miles an hour down the neighborhood. And Nate and I just look at each other too. So they were like bouncing around like the roads were shit and he was still barreling down. Yes. So we, so Nate and I look at each other and we go, well, that was kind of suspicious. And then we start (laughs) to hear sirens and we're like, oh, All right. And then we and then we kind of look around and I'm not kidding from every single possible angle that we could see a cop car pulling into the neighborhood. We see all at once dozens of cop cars are pulling into this neighborhood. There are dudes jumping, like rolling out of the moving cop car with flashlights, shining them into bushes and shit. Yeah. And so at this point, me, Nate and Joe, and I forget who all else was out there. We all look I, at I each was other. out there and I think Shane was there, too. Shane. OK, and we no, Shane go. was with us. Okay, well, oh, it doesn't well, matter. We I look at there. each other and we say, 
think we should wait inside. <laughs> so we go, we wait inside. Me, Tin, and yeah, I ten forget was, who else. I think Tin was there for part of that too. Yeah, so. Tin was there because I know Tin was in the Uber with me. Yeah. Me, Tin, and whoever the third person was in our Uber. We get in our me. Uber, we drive away, we get to the bar, we tell <laughs> David and everyone who, like, while we're waiting to get seated, we tell them about the, uh, the manhunt that the was going on in the hunt. neighborhood at the moment. <laughs> and, uh, and then Nate and Joe, they're the last ones to come. They, they pull up in their Uber. They walk out. They come sit at the table. And Joe just looks at me and says, we heard gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah. And then we had our meal. Julian was very nice and paid for everyone. Oh, you don't got to mention that. I do. It was nice. Um, mm-hmm. We've been shitting on you all episode, so. Uh, you deserve uh, one. Julian, you, you get one. for mine. Fuck you. There you you didn't deserve it. So then we went back, right? So then, and, oh, <laughs> and, 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 oh, and every single Uber fucked up in their own unique way there and back, except for I guess the one that Avery Ten and, and I got me and there. Ten on the ride up, we were fine. On I, the ride I was back, there, Avery. I was. The third I don't person. remember. I, I literally said I don't remember who the third person was. Sorry, I told you like three times. Yeah, you did okay. tell you like. I'm just trying to get through the fucking story. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what? Just fucking Christ. I was there. Cool. <laughs> Julian was there. We get in the Uber. Julian's also in the Uber. Julian's in the backseat of the Uber. Julian is there. We get in the Uber to get back to the house. Immediately, the guy tries to turn down a one-way street, then drives down a one-way lane, and then says, ah, fucking Google Maps. <laughs> uh, then he tries to turn left in a no-turn left lane, and then it's just basically that the entire way back. Yeah, we get out of the speeds Uber. Speeds like twenty miles over on the on the highway, and it's yeah, <laughs> we get out of the Uber. We get back in the house. We're all fucking exhausted. Pretty much nothing else happens that night. We all go to sleep. We all wake up. People are leaving. Fucking William comes out of the basement again. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the uh, phantom it's, comes it's me, out. It's me, Julian, and I forget. Julian's there. Julian's in the room with me at this point. I think um, it was Shane. Oh, is he? There's some. It was I think 10. it was Shane. Yeah. No, no, Shane was no. Shane was early. Left early. Shane was early because Shane had to return oh, the band. Then it was ten. No, it wasn't ten. Yeah, because ten, ten was in the bathroom. He was mad that he missed this. So, so William comes up to us and he's like, uh, "So, uh, you guys have any suggestions for the house? Like anything that you would change? Because I'm like new at this." And uh, I was like, no, not really. And Julian's like, um, actually, I have one suggestion. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, I no, didn't. No, and, no, Julian, no. and Julian, yes, you did, Julian. Uh, you, oh, I Julian, was there. I was I, there in the room with you. You, Julian. you, um, actually so hard yeah. nonstop. And so there's Julian, no way. Julian, he like, was asking for a suggestion, and I was like, you I know, know what? He's Julian, asking. let me fucking talk for the love of God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Julian points at the prefuck contract room, and he says. I think that room's a little bit weird to put a bed in because there's no privacy from the inside of the house. And there's also windows to the outside all surrounding it. So you get no privacy. And then William goes, yeah. Or you could just be a freak and not care. <laughs> <laughs> he, shuffle, he shuffles around. He like punches what? over and, and like hops he like around over as he and shuffles out of the fucking room. <laughs> I didn't know that at all. What the fuck? He genuinely he fu- he he says that what and then the he goes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fear. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just about covers He's it. He's so fucking weird. Oh man. Holy shit. I want to play a horror game in that house. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Phasmophobia <laughs> in William's house would be banger. Oh God! I don't. We need to get the licensing for his house, though. I can't wait to see this in the next Red X collection. <laughs> <laughs> the William house. <laughs> that's that. That's the yeah, fucking. I think that's it. That's the so grand we adventure we had. Unless it anyone has anything like to add. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I. It's a fuck time. Yeah, I, think, I don't have anything to add, I think but it's, I just, I, I just, I love thinking back on it, and I love uh, that everyone was unanimous in looking back on it when they all said, "I'm so glad everything worked out the way it did. This was a blast. It was so fun. Oh, yeah. Never again. Yeah, never no. again. <laughs> that, the, the, never. the entire like we were ever. sitting sitting in the airport. We were all waiting for like our various flights to leave, 
And we just said, I had a great time. Fuck this. This is one of the most fun trips I've ever had in my life. I don't wish anything had gone differently. Never again. <laughs> Never <laughs> fucking again. again. Yeah. <laughs> Jumbo Wumba asks, what are your funniest memories involving family, pets, slash animals? Oh, family pets slash animals. <laughs> are you going to talk about Joel killing your cat? Yeah. What? I killed my cat. The fuck? That's not, what? Is that real? It was, so Joel, my roommate now, but we're in, going to school together in high school. Very first time he ever comes over to my cat. My cat's doing that thing where it's sunbathing and, you know, it's like laying on his stomach and it's legs are one way and it's arms the other way and it kind of looks like it's dead. Yeah. Uh, and Joel goes, oh, hey, man, uh, is that your cat? And I was like, oh, yeah. And he goes, it looks like it's dead. I'm like, oh, yeah, it just lays like that sometimes, though. And he's like, oh, okay. We go into our house, into my house, uh, upstairs doing nothing, fucking around. And then about an hour later, Joel's like, all right, I'm going to go home. All right, cool. And then he walks outside, and the cat's in the same exact position, just sitting at our front door. Oh, no. And he goes, can I pet your cat? And I go, yeah, it's really friendly. And he starts petting it, and he goes, uh, Corbin, I think your cat's dead. I go, oh, oh no! I go, no, no. It just it lays like that. It's really lazy. It's it's really old. And he goes, no, man, dude, your cat's dead. Oh. <laughs> I go to poke it. <laughs> no. Well, How is the best way like, for a cat to go though? Yeah, I guess like, it doesn't Rigo get much Mortis better than is, that. Rigor mortis has set in, and the cat is very much dead. Oh, oh my no. god! Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, Corbin, and Corbin's I, I not done. <laughs> I just go, damn. Okay, see you, Joel. And he leaves. And I walk back into the kitchen. I go, hey, mom, Joel killed our cat. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> because what? in my mind, the cat was alive. And then Joel pet it. Next thing you know, it's dead. What and the so, fuck? No, that's sound logic. I, I said it as a joke. And no one in my family thought it was a joke. <laughs> and so for like an entire year, my sister, whose cat it was, was convinced that every time this like Joel would come over to her house, she's like, I fucking hate this kid. He killed my cat. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> what the fuck? It's funny. I don't know. I was just, I was just joking. Just joshing. <laughs> Why'd you think a fucking joshing. joke? Holy shit. I don't know. So your cat's dead, but like... It's funny. I don't really have any like. If you die and there's not a bit involved, then what's the point? Exactly. I, I just got a new cat after we moved. Yeah. Don't, don't let Joel near it. I won't. I won't <laughs> let Joel near it. Absolutely not. Oh, we actually we just got new cats too, and then the first thing my sister said is Joel's not allowed to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from like the. Uh, when I lived on the farm and my dad had like 25 farm cats and sometimes he'd go and get like um, like it was this submachine gun from his armory this is not funny anymore and he'd go downstairs and he'd just like spray and pray into the forest to scare the cats away this is not the funny only, anymore the only story I can <laughs> just think fucking of, weird shit the only story I can think of is a short one that's more upsetting than anything it's like Brendan oh, birthday God, so don't tell tier. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't know if I want to tell it. Yeah, no, don't tell it. I like the I like the pet you guys story. whether I tell this one because it's no. It, okay, well then I'm not telling it. it you you literally said well, it's not know. funny. No, I want to know now. <laughs> All right, well you know what we can cut it right. Yeah, we can cut it like we cut half the fucking episode that Harry was in. Okay, <laughs> um, so uh, back when I was still in school. Um, every time I would walk home, because I would walk, school was very close to where I lived at the time, so I would just walk home every day. I would throw some headphones in, block out the world, walk home, and um, we have an okay. indoor outdoor cat. He's still around. He's a good man. One of my favorite cats ever. Um, he uh, he he wasn't ours, but our neighbors just moved and left him there. So he just in that time he transformed from being a. Uh, an indoor cat to the toughest motherfucker in the entire neighborhood in a neighborhood that has a massive cat overpopulation problem. He was the dominant one immediately. Um, so we just let him go in and out whenever he wants. And every now and again, he'd come back with like a battle scar or something, but it's fine. It would heal. <laughs> we had, we, we updated his shots. Um, so uh, I was walking home. I get home. I open the door uh, and I close the door 
and it's a big heavy door <laughs> and um uh just i i hear something through the headphones and i'm like blasting music right so i only faintly hear it and i'm like that's weird i take the headphones off and i look down the tail is uh caught in the door and the door is fully closed and the cat um no. his name is socks uh socks like it makes a noise I've never heard a cat make ever before. Um, what does it sound which like? Which is like, it's the sound of like, a, a, he slowly realizes how much pain he's in. Jesus it, Christ. <laughs> this goes, isn't funny. <laughs> I know. I told you. Yeah, but Why the, the question is a tell funny story. story. I mean, he Jesus just goes from Julian. like, uh, and then he, okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> I get it now. I mean, it'd be funny. Okay, if it was I get out that comedy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we took. Uh, he he fucked off. He just ran outside, and then he came back like four hours later with his tail fucked up, and he just didn't even care. He had gotten over it. And then I was like, "No, you're not getting over this." I took him to the emergency vet care, and uh, then he was. You don't fine. know if he's over it. What no, you he's over fucking it. Cat. No, he's oh, dead. Yeah, how would you he didn't know? Care. Would you? <laughs> He genuinely, his pain tolerance is fucking insane. That's why he was. How would you know? Apex. Maybe he doesn't say. Because by the time he got back, he was tre- he, he was just operating as normal, despite having a wounded tail. He came back and was just acting how he always acted, like he wasn't in pain. It was fucked up. I was shocked. Anyway, well, yeah. Creed asked. If you could put David into one <laughs> fictional universe, which one would it be, and how long would he survive? Darkwood. Darkwood. <laughs> no. He doesn't survive. That's not even, he doesn't make it out of the prologue. Yeah. That's not even funny. That's it'll not be like even just, it'll funny. It'll be just like when he played the game. He didn't make it out of the prologue. <laughs> I was so fucking afraid. I, I, I played it with everyone. I, I did make it through the prologue, but it was a lot of screaming. Yeah, and then you got to Dry Meadow and said, fuck this, and, and uninstalled yeah. the game. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, fuck that. That's fucking I didn't uninstall mode, it. I, I didn't, I, no, I don't, I, I still have it. I still have it. Did you play it? <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, I like having it around. I don't like playing it. <laughs> Scary. Cool. Who secretly, or not at all secretly, hates being on this podcast from Andrew? Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for listening a huge thank you to all our top patrons such as air 109 alan diver alex steer ben chrismanic bike bongo crust boo poo lou brandon yeanman cap z clayotic Daxter092, Desrick Gothroy, Ducky Madness, Eric Scott Gillies, Fang Jade, Generic Phoenix, Harry Norris, Inverted Van Man, Kobe, Manuel Martinez, Mellow Wolf, Maya, Notoriety, Pyropat, Schizolingvo, Seawolf812, Shantanu Batia, Snake Asylum, Teague, Travis Bapes, Trevor Wood, William Oliver, Winchester Curse, and Zora Curl. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.